Now, uh, botulinum poisoning is a kind of very dangerous situation. So, for the treatment of it, it is very, very different. So, treatment. Treatment of it is very, very different. And it's kind of completely... Uh, I don't know, but it is very difficult to do in many cases because uh, in, 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 in all these cases, if, if botulinum toxin is entered, so there are two conditions. One is the infection is onset. Now, usually, infection, so let me talk, infection by bacteria, if this occur, it will sooner lead to the release of, release of toxin. So that is very pretty common thing, right? So toxin will be there. And if there is a toxin in blood, so let me write, if there is a toxin in blood in any how or any condition, in those cases, there is only one way to go against that is to, is to detoxify it, right? So for the detoxification, so the only way is detoxification. So let me write, detoxification. Now the only way we can detoxify is using a kind of antitoxin which is uh, which is made right so we can use one antitoxin right and there is also other kind of mixture of toxins that are generated against uh, different kinds of clostridium toxins i forgot to mention that there are several types of clostridium toxin so there are toxin a toxin b c and up to g there are different levels of clostridium toxin. Among all these different types of toxin, uh, most dangerous are uh, and most general kind of diseases are caused by toxin A, B and E. So these are these three are most important clinically. Okay, so we uh, combine all this A, B, C and A, B, E different kinds of serotype of the bacteria, different types of toxin and we want to produce an antisera in horse. Right, so we produce an antisera in horse so we can administer that we can administer that in this kind of situation to go against the effect of toxins but uh, those effects that are already been caused by toxins cannot be reversed back right so this is the first kind of thing this detoxification now second kind of thing that we can do is if the clostridium is infecting your lung tissues or diaphragm in all these cases it will become very very hard to survive in those situations in those cases you may require mechanical ventilation mechanical ventilation right in those cases you require some kind of mechanical instruments for uh, your respiration and all these things okay so mechanical ventilation is another way of uh, treatment of, of uh, reducing the effect of clostridium toxin and and also, if uh, there is a bacterial infection, stay for longer period of time in case of, let's say, in case of wound, in case of wound botulism, right? So, in case of wound botulism, what we can do, in this case, uh, the individual is infected via the cut in the skin. So, in those cases, we can provide antibiotics, antibiotics, which are killing the bacteria which are uh, so antibiotics to all those uh, microorganisms which are sensitive to those kind right so antibiotics like penicillin like penicillin g and all these things we can provide it okay but this is the last thing that we can do so what we need to do is that we must treat all our food we must process all our food up perfectly so it's a very very important way to prevent clostridium poisoning right otherwise uh, we need to be very careful about the soil contamination so we need to monitor that also and and obviously uh, so and obviously that in case of uh, the onset of this disease what we can do that if surgical uh, regions if, if we catch this disease from hospitals and all these regions we need to we need to purify and sterile our components, right? So kind of sterile our components. And for the sterilization, what we can use is heat, right? So among the heat, we can use dry heat or moist heat. And usually, moist heat is proven to be very, very effective. Very, sorry. It, it is proven to be very effective. very effective against clostridium botulinum and botulinum toxin right so we can use the moist heat for detoxification purpose usually the moist heat that we are talking about is uh, 
get it from is, is got from what we know as a pressure along with pressure we get a moist heat it usually is from autoclave machine machine autoclave machine usually okay and so that's how we can prevent this disease but still this disease is very very dangerous thing so you need to be very very careful about this kind of infections okay so that's it and i hope that's helpful thank you